What's up, guys? Well, I haven't done a video of my camera setup yet, so I figured I'd do that today. Let's see. Well, first, you need a GoPro mount. I use the GoPro Hero 3, uh, the white edition, nothing special. But I, as you can see here on my helmet, I have it mounted on the side of my helmet, and I also have one mounted on the front of my helmet. Um, the one on the front I personally like better, but I don't have the J-hook that was on there. So I now use the side one because I also had to buy the side mount. So, yeah. Those are the first things you need. Adhesive. Those are rounded adhesive that the GoPro comes with. They're both rounded. The one on the front and the one on the side. Uh, this was the mount that I was telling you about, the J-hook. This is the J-hook mount. I guess it's, I, I mean, it looks like a J. So that's why I call it a J hook. But that would simply go right on here. As you can see, it would go right on like that. And uh, the, the camera would go on there. So here's some of the parts that I have. As you know, I have the J hook, as I mentioned before. I have this little foam thing from my Xbox or microphone so I could uh, not have all that wind sound. This little thing goes on the inside when you put it onto the adhesive mount, and this actually causes the, the GoPro not to vibrate as much. It's a pretty big difference, to be honest. Um, I, I keep it on there now whenever I go riding. Just because of how big the difference was. Uh, of course, you need the 3.5 GoPro uh, adapter. This thing sucks. I mean, it was like it's like 10 bucks or 15 bucks or some bullshit for this stupid ass adapter. But the ones that they have on like uh, on Amazon and things, those wouldn't work. Those didn't work. So I had to get the, go out and get the actual GoPro one, which sucked. Uh, this is my microphone. Nothing serious. I think it was like 15 bucks as well. It's the Olympus ME15. I'll leave a link in the description for the mic. But this is it, just this little tiny thing. And uh, the quality of it's pretty good. I mean, my bike is pretty loud. You can still hear me pretty good without having to yell. So that's the mic. The GoPro mount I use is the side mount. I use the longer arm on the bottom there. I use the longer arm. And then the, the little arm to hold the camera on so that it goes onto the helmet like this. And um, for the case, it's just a standard waterproof case. But I did drill the hole out like you see a lot of other people do. I drilled the hole out to um, be able to fit the GoPro onto the, I mean the GoPro mic adapter into the camera while still having the protection of the front. Because I was going to get the frame, but the frame doesn't have protection in the front of the camera. So... I didn't want that. All right, so now I'm gonna put it onto the camera. I mean, put it onto the helmet, and then you can see how I set it all up. So now that I got it all hooked up, this is how it will be. As you can see, the mount is facing up. I always try to push it in as close to the helmet as possible, keep it to look as straight as possible, and then I curve it up. As you can see with the visor down, the mount is still facing pretty high because a lot of times you're looking down. So I try to get the top of this going to the top of the visor. I don't know if you can see that, but it's going right towards the top. So that a lot of a lot of the stuff that you that I see, you will see. This is what it looks like from the side, and I could even straighten it out a little bit, keep it raised up high though, and bring it in. And you can see more of the helmet. Uh, the same thing goes for the front. I'll just wrap this piece around a bunch of times, and then be able to put it into the camera. Obviously, I don't have the camera in there because that's what I'm recording with, and. Uh, yeah.
that's how I make the videos for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll leave links to where you can get the adapter and the the microphone from. NJ Bike Life signing out.